The workday starts early in the morning here on this farm in Iowa. Pam Johnson is already underway. There's a lot of work to be done. The Johnson's farm is the size of 1,200 soccer fields. To manage that, they use plenty of modern technology. They grow corn and soybeans. They use a special kind of genetically modified seed called GMOs. I like GMOs because, as you can see out here in this cornfield, these plants are very healthy. They've resisted worms and bugs. If we did not have GMOs, there is a high possibility of a worm burrowing all the way up this plant, making it hollow so it tips over and we don't have a harvest. Pam Johnson is a fifth generation farmer. She grew up on a neighboring farm just a few kilometers away from the fields she manages today. She puts great stock in tradition. But when it comes to the family business, she puts her faith in modern technology. Like most farmers here, she favors genetically modified seeds. In 2012, we had one of the worst droughts in history. And had we been planting the seeds that my parents planted, we wouldn't have had a crop and our, my family wouldn't have had a budget to live on that year. So with, with a, a GMO plant, the plant roots went down 12 feet into the ground, three meters, and soaked up every drop of water. Until now, she's been selling her crop here in the U.S. She'd also like to export to Europe, but European consumers are suspicious of genetically modified crops. Pam understands those concerns up to a point. I can understand there's a difference of opinion, but I'm not afraid of GMOs. We've grown it since 1996 on our farm. Our children eat it, our grandchildren eat it. I wouldn't feed it to them if I didn't believe that it was a safe technology. Yeah. Iowa's Secretary of Agriculture hopes the new trade agreement can help win over European consumers. The TTIP free trade agreement is now under negotiation with the EU. The local agricultural industry hopes it will open up the European market to American farmers. We certainly produce more than what Iowans can use, the three million Iowans. We sell it around the country. We sell it in other places of the world. We'd sure love to be able to sell more of it in Europe as well. The Johnson family spends at least 10 hours a day working on their farm. In the evening, they all gather for the family meal. So I hope these are done. The upcoming trade agreement is also a topic of conversation these days. TTIP's really important to me, and not just to me and my family as Iowa farmers, but it's important to all consumers and we think to the whole world. We don't think Europeans need to be afraid of the things that we grow, genetically modified organisms, and we think that with open free trade that the whole world wins. Iowa farmers are known for their perseverance, but they'll have a long wait ahead of them until the transatlantic deal is reached.